Hey, it's Justin Marshall, primetime local news, and we're looking back at 2019 with a year in review. Pleased to be joined with Member of Parliament for Fort McMurray, Cold Lake, Laclavish, Mr. David Yurdega. Well, welcome to Laclavish, uh, Justin. It's glad that you could make it to uh, my office here and uh, talk about our, our economy. Yeah, how was 2019? 2019 was a challenge. Uh, uh, we, we see the jobless rates just in November, uh, there were 17,000 jobs lost. And and then when we look at how many jobs have been lost over the past four years, it just compounds the problem. Uh, we just look outside my window here and we, we see a number of vacant buildings. Uh, this is the first time I ever saw that in my life where, where you see so many vacant buildings in this community. Uh, it's, it's no different than Fort McMurray. Uh, the building vacancy, housing uh, vacancies is it, it, really putting a strain on our economy. Uh, I just want to talk about uh, even the agriculture is affected. Uh, we had some issues with the, uh, the, uh, the Chinese government uh, and, uh, you know, with the uh, canola issues, the meat issues. It's really been a hard time for uh, Albertans. What can we do to get Albertans back to work? Because uh, you, you mentioned uh, over 17,000 jobs lost just in this community, right? Well, yeah, in, across Alberta. Uh, which is a huge number considering how much we lost prior. Uh, but, you know, what we got to do is we got to address the issue why our economy is not moving ahead. And that simple fact is C69, C48, the carbon tax. Uh, that's, that's our issue. How do we get our economy kick-started? We, we have to look at those bills, uh, revise them, rescind them, whatever. It's not working for Albertans. Can you get rid of them a little easier now that it's a minority government because they have to listen to you guys and and what there's five other parties, right? Well, exactly. Uh, n now the Liberals do not have majority in the House or in the committees, so we can bring back uh, the discussion on Bill C sixty nine, C forty eight, and uh, and the carbon tax. And uh, you know what the carbon tax going to actually cost Canadians, and that number is extremely high and a lot of people don't realize it that uh, that and also we have to be competitive uh, with our global competitors I mean the US is reducing red tape uh, they're dropping corporate taxes and we see a lot of Canadian companies and American companies that have assets here divesting out of Canada and moving down south and uh, how do we get them back we have to become competitive again and uh, the carbon tax is not making us competitive uh, when you look at uh, getting big industrial projects uh, move forward, it's taking twice as long in Canada compared to the U.S. So we got to to deal with the red tape. We got to uh, deal with Bill C-69, C-48, and the carbon tax. I want to ask you about Wexit because it seems like it's brewing a bit in 2019. Uh, I heard a lot of people uh, kind of fired up right after the election, but it. Maybe it's cooled down a bit. What are you hearing? Well, I, I, I'm still hearing quite a bit that uh, Alberta needs a new deal. The West needs a new deal. Uh, we, we see uh, Quebec over the summer, they, uh, the federal government increased their equalization payments from $11.5 billion to $13. Uh, and in Quebec, uh, actually post, uh, you know, every year, uh, they don't have a deficit. They, they actually are a billion dollars ahead every year. Uh, they don't count their hydro as part of the, the uh, formula. And it really puts Albertans and Western Canadians at a disadvantage. Uh, we pay in, we get very little back. What do you think of that? Well, I think we need a new deal. Uh, obviously, uh, the, the equalization formula has to be adjusted to be fair for all Canadians, not just uh, a select few. And Mr. Udega, what do you want to accomplish in 2020? Well, uh, I, want, I want to, in 2020, uh, hold the Liberals to account, uh, bring up all these issues in our committee level. Uh, work, we have to work really hard with the other opposition parties to ensure that uh, we do what is right for Canadians. So it's going to be a team effort to, to hold the Liberals' feet to the fire. Well, Mr. Daga, it's been a lot of fun catching up with you, and uh, I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yes, a Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful Christmas, I hope everybody needs a little break and then start back to work in January. That's MP David Yurdaga for Fort McMurray, Cold Lake, 
and Lac Labiche. We'll send it back to you guys in studio.